Can you talk about the way the girls play? Um, today was a pretty, pretty decent game because we had uh, a lot of people out of position. You know, I had a couple kids get sick, and you know, obviously injuries have hit us hard this year. So, you know, we're in a situation where some people had to uh, diversify themselves and put themselves, in, you know, uh, positions they haven't played all year. And I thought they did a great job. Even splitting time was good, and it looked like everybody was just handing the ball over to the next person. Like, I'd say that was our biggest win today doing stuff like that. Yeah. People were just really, really, really uh, doing a good job of, of uh, taking a new role. Sure. In the middle inning, got some good clutch hitting, time of hitting, you know, put some runs on the board. Can you talk about the off the Yeah, um, we had some some key timely hits. I mean, we had some hit and runs put on and some different things like that. We had uh, Ashton Bennett came through with some good hits. Uh, Rachel Moore came through with some good hits. You know, Megan Gaspar came through and set up an inning for us. Bringing us out, you know, did a good job, you know, of coming in and getting about three RBIs of that whole whole mess that we, we caused, you know. And I like the, uh, you know, that, I, that I'm finally seeing some people come off the bench and just start getting it done, you know. And I'm going to keep doing that until we're all set to go. That's cool. Right? We're doing a story on Ashley here. Um, can you talk about the way she's been in the middle of the lineup this year, coming off of a monster year last year, building on that again, having a good year, strong year this year? I think, I think that the tough thing for Ray is that when you go and you hit, um, you know, middle high average, and then you, you go with so many home runs, everybody expects her to do the same thing again. And she may not get as many pitches as she saw last year. And I think that's probably the biggest realization that she's getting right now is that, you know, when you're getting the pitch like you're supposed to hit, you got to nail it because yeah. you're probably not getting anything. Because, I mean, the coach from the other team today was even telling her, you ain't going to get nothing to hit. I'm not giving you a ball to swing at. So yeah. it comes down to the other person behind you that's got to, you know, get after it and get things done. But for the most part, you know, that's what Ashley's uh, uh, job is, to get on base and, you know, cause damage if she can. Hopefully we're in bases loaded situations where they got no place to put her, <laughs> and then they have to throw it there. Um, and you know we've been doing some swing changes and some things that, that she's had to adjust to. And um, sometimes they run cold a little bit. Sometimes they run hot, you know. And, and uh, she's looking for consistency in her game. She's looking to put herself in a position where she can do it over and over and over again, and maybe play at a higher level after this uh, this season. Which is a possibility to see. Now, how difficult is that as a player when you know you might only see three pitches in a week, and you want to obviously you want to take advantage of all? Of it. Like, how difficult is it to stay patient through that? I think if you've seen enough players, like you know, just watching TV, you know, like a Frank Thomas or Barry Bonds. Yeah. I mean, those people they probably only saw one pitch a game. Yeah. They go one for two or one one for one, and that was their day. That's learning how to take walks is is a, is a it's a selfless act. I mean, you just can't be expanding your zone to where you're just swinging at garbage, making yourself a 250 hitter, you know. And, uh, you know, it's all about learning. And I think that's what she's learning right now. I think she's getting herself in a situation where, you know, it's not there. Falls off the plate. Might as well take it, you know, because it's not going to it's not gonna help you, you know, hitting something weak to first base or something like that, you know. But uh, she'll get she'll get it. You know, the plate's 17 inches wide. So as long as she gets anything on that plate, I, I would really, really, uh, I'd be very, very careful if they did that. Sure. Now, playing uh, you know, fairly well in the conference, all you got to do the rest of the way to you know, finish a strong turn and make it to the conference. Turn. You know what? I think uh, in the conference games, the girls will tell you to. You know, we've, we let some games go that we shouldn't have. And we should, we should, uh, be a lot better than what we are. It's just a matter of just making that decision and taking the next step. And it really comes down to it's just a decision. That's all it is. Because I mean, they've taken the reps, they understand the good, good and bad. Is. And it's just a matter of them getting consistent with it and not allowing themselves to go back and revert. And that's what, that's what it basically comes down to. And you'll notice this, this team always has one bad inning. And um, it's hard to come back when you've given somebody so many runs. And, you know, it kind of cripples you, you know. Um, but uh, for the most part, you know, when they play sharp, they are sharp. When, you know, when they 
let it go away from them a little bit, and it's pretty tough to come back from. Yeah, that's great. Well, Coach, it was a pleasure meeting you today. We did. We needed it. Okay. Yeah, talk about the way the girls play today. Wait, what? You talk about the way the girls play today as a whole. Oh, I mean, we did good. We haven't played since Saturday. We were supposed to get a game in on Monday, so we kind of sat around the hotel room on Sunday, got a little bit in, and the weather was bad yesterday, so we came out playing good. And a lot of girls contributing in the lineup today, a lot of, you know, different players getting big hits and everything. Yeah, definitely. They have been big. Uh, when they get in the game, they get big hits, so they've been helping us out. Yeah, that's cool. Now, you personally, tell me about, you know, how this all started for you. When, when did you start playing softball, Ashley? Uh, T-ball. Well, softball, I guess, when I was, I don't know, eight, nine. Okay. As soon as you can start playing. Okay. But I've been playing since uh, four, maybe. Okay, what positions did you play as a child? Everything. Everything? Yeah. I've been all over the field. I was never an outfielder, actually, until I got to college. Okay. I played uh, a little bit of outfield at UL, but I everywhere in the infield, pretty much. In yeah, high school, where did you play? Uh, catcher. Catcher? Okay. Yeah. So, wow, catcher. you really have played everywhere. Yeah, everywhere. I have been everywhere. Okay. Now, at what age did you kind of realize, hey, you know, this is something I really pretty strong? Um, I guess going into high school, I figured, I knew I wanted to play something. I played everything growing up, soccer, softball, basketball, volleyball, everything. And I knew I wanted to do something, and I guess when I got to high school, I figured I should just make a decision and stick with it and kind of to a softball, I guess that's how it happened. Okay, cool. Now, good high school career. Tell me about the decision to go to Lafayette. What, what was it? What uh, attracted that's you That's my hometown, so okay. and I love it. Um, so I just kind of wanted to stay close to home. My parents live 15 minutes from the school, so um, that's kind of why I chose it. Yeah. I went to all the games in high school. Like, I knew the girls. I played summer ball with the girls that were already there, so... A lot of times there, I like it. Cool, and then a couple years there, and then yeah. what, what uh, made you decide, hey, you know, it's time to move on? Um, it just it was just time to move on, you know. And I played summer ball with Megan, so um, she's been my best friend for a while, so I decided to come over here and play with her. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Now, last year, really great year for you. Did you expect to have that much success so fast? Not at all. I was very, um, I didn't know how the year was going to turn out. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I was hoping for the best, but I hadn't played much at UL, so I didn't really know how it was going to go. But. It's your first time since high school playing every day like that. Definitely, yeah. I mean, I got some at-bats and I got some starts at UL, but nothing consistent. Like, I mean, playing every game, I just didn't know how, you know, how things were going to turn out. I hadn't done it in two years. Okay. So. Now tell me about some of the things you've worked on in the offseason to come into to this year. Oh, uh, we lifted really hard in the fall, actually. Um, and just my bats. I knew that they would know my weaknesses for this year, um, which they found. Uh, but I mean, I knew that that, that was going to be a challenge, so that's pretty much all I worked on. Yeah. Now, they know who you are this year, and you're not getting very many pitches to hit. How do you stay patient through that? I don't know, and I, I don't, actually. <laughs> I should I probably have a lot more walks than I do, I, but I mean, I'm just, I know what they're going to throw me. It's just, I need to be patient enough till I see it, so. Yeah, is it frustrating? I mean, there may be a time where y'all are down, you know, one run, and you're trying to drive somebody in, maybe on second base, but they just don't give you a pitch. Huh? Yeah, it's happened a couple times this year, and it's supposed to be, a, I guess, something good when you get walked, but it's really kind of annoying this year. Yeah. Is it more just about, you know, just trying to stay patient or seeing the ball, like the strike zone better? Or um, I've always had a problem being patient. I'm a very aggressive hitter. I like to swing on the, you know, swing the first pitch, any, really anything, I'll swing. Um. So this year it's been a challenge to, to sit back and wait on it and, and wait till I get something good. I've been swinging at a lot of it. Because it's got to be something you're fairly used to. I'm sure in high school it's probably the same way, right? Yeah, pretty much, um, but not to this extent, I guess. And, I mean, pitchers were different. They would leave one every now and then, and I could I could handle that. But, I mean, this year, pitchers, I mean, in college, they're a little bit better with placing it. They can kind of keep it away from me if they want to. Okay, that's cool. So, you know, going forward, um, so what, probably about a month left in the season? Not even, I don't Maybe. think, yeah. Right. What are y'all trying to do the rest of the way in the conference games to try to get over the hump and win some of those close games? Yeah, we definitely need to do that. I mean, we're looking conference tournament right now. We're right on on the edge, I think. We're right in the middle. So um, we need to get pumped up to that spot that we need to get in there, and that's what we've been working for.